Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over my five favorite Ryobi tools and I'm going to tell you why they're my favorite. So first up, uh, this is the uh, Porta Band. I believe it takes a 33 inch blade. Uh, this band saw is probably one of the most useful tools I've ever used. Um, when I do gas piping, uh, instead of just using uh, the regular compression cutter with a cutter wheel, um, I'll use this. I'll cut it straight down and then I can thread the pipe uh, very easily. I use this for all thread. Um, I've used it before for um, you know some some small wood items but mainly this is just for metal it makes your life a lot easier it's a lot better than a sawzall or a hacksaw or something like that it's just a continuous blade movement it has a light um, you, you know you have tension settings and then you can make sure it's plumb and have straight down cuts uh, excellent tool one of the best tools that I've uh, ever bought I've never had any issues out of it and I have used it quite a bit so that's number one all right number two uh, this is the I, I guess the biggest one that they make I, I haven't tried out the new HP uh, models however uh, this is the three speed impact a uh, quarter inch impact driver. It has a magnetic base on it. It has a tool holder here. Uh, let me grab a battery for it. It has tri-beams that come out. Uh, on the three speeds on the back, uh, it's very important that the three speeds are there because on the first setting, being low, second setting, middle, and I use the second setting probably the most, and then the third setting, which is the most powerful setting, I typically reserve that for longer screws, more like lags, things like that. It's really uh, unnecessary for the most part, uh, but it works great with a 3 amp hour battery. It has a really uh, nice, stern, uh, well, strong belt clip. It's not going to break or bend out on you uh, very easy. So, uh, number three has got to be the 18 gauge Bradley finish nailer. Uh, this is a very useful tool. I've used this. I, I renovated uh, my last full house. My last full house was 1890. That's when it was built. So when I was redoing the house, all of the trim, a lot of the decorative items, uh, even exterior work, I used this. Uh, this can go to, oh my gosh, I believe um, two and a half inches is the longest it can go. Let me see here. Yeah, 5 eighths uh, to 2 inches. So this can go from 5 eighths to 2 inches. And uh, the cool thing about it, it has a single, or you can do uh, you know speed mode, which uh, shoots a lot of nails at one time. It doesn't have to reset. Uh, but it doesn't have, it, it is compressed air, so it's not like you're using a spring action. So very simple. You can set how the depth of the nail as well. Extremely useful, extremely useful. You don't have to pull out a compressor, air hose, anything like that, oil them. It's all within the tool itself. All right, so let's move on. My next tool, and I know this isn't a 18 volt tool, this is a 40 volt tool, uh, but is the 14 inch bar chainsaw. This chainsaw I have cut down probably, I don't know, 15 trees, 10 bushes. Uh, in my new house, we have 10 acres. It's not all finished, so I'm trying to re-landscape. Uh, this house has been around since 1790. So with that being said, the exterior, it needs a lot of facelift, uh, and, and that's fine. But this, it's incredibly powerful for what it is, and it's quiet. Uh, so I can use it early in the morning, late at night, so I don't disturb the neighbors. Uh, so it, very, very good. It is a brushless tool as well, and it's very affordable. I think it was, uh, you know, under $200, right around $200. You could probably get a little cheaper now. I've had it for uh, about a year or more, um, but it, it's a great tool. And then last 
and I think the most uh, light tool that I have, the most useful tool that I have, is this uh, lamp or lantern. I, I really don't know what Ryobi calls it, but it has uh, two different light bars. Both, you can go to the bottom, you can go to the single top, then it goes off. Uh, let's see, make sure I get this in the frame here. Um, on the top, you do have uh, a handle or you can hang it. It also has a place where you can hang it from a screw here. On the back, on the bottom, this back again, it does have another place where you can put a screw in the back here. And, uh, you know, it also can hang from there as well. Uh, like if you're hanging it on a, um, a string or so. But the coolest thing about this light is, if you really want to and you want to show close-ups or you need to work on something small, uh, you have this incredible light that is uh, pretty much shadowless because it goes vertical and horizontal to whatever you're working on. Very, very useful, especially in dark places. It has a, a very strong positive friction connection here that holds the light into place. And I've used this, oh my goodness, probably almost every day. I've never had an issue. I've gotten it wet. I've dropped it off ladders. I've done a lot. It's extremely durable and it was cheap too. I, I can't believe, maybe $50 to $75. It's probably cheaper now, but I've had it for a couple of years. So those are my five top Ryubi tools that I have. I, um, I, I do have other tools that are very useful. I have a tower light now and some other things for bigger jobs, but these are the core tools that I have to have uh, just working around the house, not on a job site, but just working around my home. Uh, they've, come, they've come the most in handy. So I hope this video has provided some enjoyment to someone, helped someone, uh, given uh, anyone a little bit of guidance. Uh, if it has, hey, please hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and uh, God bless everyone, and I hope you have an awesome 2021. Take care.